Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds, and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Azan x Bravura 7.1 sound card. What's included with this sound card is a quick installation guide, installation CD, stickers, 6.35mm stereo phone adapter plug, also a nut and washer, one Toslink to optical mini adapter, and a 10-foot optical Toslink to Toslink cable. The washer and the nut gets installed on the headphone connection. This sound card uses Creative Labs components and technologies. It includes a Creative PCI Express audio processor and the supported audio resolution and sampling rate is 16-bit or 24-bit and up to 192 kilohertz depending on playback or if recording. The dynamic range is 115 decibels A weighted for stereo output, 110 decibels A weighted for multi channel outputs, and 98 decibels A weighted for analog inputs. The total harmonic distortion plus noise is 0.001% A weighted for analog outputs and 0.003% A weighted for analog inputs. The frequency response varies from 10 to 94 kilohertz depending on the sampling rate. The headphone load impedance is from 16 ohms to 600 ohms, speaker output impedance is 150 ohms, and line input impedance is 10,000 ohms. This sound card offers 7.1 channel Dolby Digital and DTS playback, and the key technologies include Creative Labs, EAX4 Advanced HD Sound Effects, CMSS 3D, Crystallizer, Bass Management, 10 Band Multi Channel Equalizer, and more. This sound card has separate headphone output circuitry with a maximum sampling rate of 24 128 kHz output. This sound card is suitable for professional headphones. The proprietary headphone amplifier uses an independent 120 dB DAC, an upgradable op amp, and film capacitors for the DAC filter. Now let's have a closer look at the sound card's connections. This connection doubles as a digital coaxial or Toslink output. And this is where the single Toslink to optical mini adapter gets connected. Here are all of the analog multi connectors, which include the side speakers, center channel and subwoofer, rear speakers, and front speakers. At the top is the quarter inch or 6.35 millimeter headphone output jack, as well as a line in or mic in jack. This sound card has a PCI Express 1.1 X1 one lane interface, but also fits in X4 four lane, X8 8 lane and X16 16 lane PCI Express video card slots. This is very useful because if you have a video card with a large cooler occupying two slots or a multiple video card setup, sometimes the PCI Express X1 slot is covered. So if another PCI Express video card slot is available, you can put it in there. The software that's included offers total control over the connected devices. Even though this sound card is based on Creative Labs technologies, the drivers are rock solid. This sound card does offer some fantastic features as well as being extremely easy to set up. And that's good considering that this sound card is based on Creative Labs technology. I've had Creative Labs sound cards in the past and drivers to be honest have been a nightmare, but that is not the case with this sound card. The sound quality is exceptional, but remember that this sound card does not support EAX5, but rather EAX4. But overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.